Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. This is my haul for Saturday, September 17th. I could not fit all this in with yesterday's haul from the big rummage sale I was at, so I had to come back with another video. Um, I ended up, there were a ton of sales as there usually are in September, but um, I ended up really only going to, I think, four. Two were tiny yard sales, and the two others were advertised as rummage sales. One was a church rummage sale, rummage sale, and the other one was a, was a charity yard sale slash rummage sale. Um, They're pretty far away from each other, so I decided to go to the church one first. I'd never been to this one before, and from the pictures on Craigslist, it looked like it was indoors, like you would stand and wait until nine o'clock and then go in and you know do your thing. Uh, no. <laughs> not the case at all. I got there, it took me about probably half an hour to get there. I got there at 8.30 expecting to have to wait and the entire yard outside this church was filled with tables and tents over the tables and tons of people milling around and I don't know how long they've been there. So um, I parked as quickly as I could and jumped out of the car and started looking. Unfortunately, I mean the prices weren't too bad. There were, some of the things were a little high, but um, didn't find nearly as much good stuff as I thought that I would, especially considering there was a lot of stuff there. But maybe I'll have better luck next year now that I know that I should go earlier. But you know, you live and you learn. So I think I spent uh, like eleven dollars on the stuff I'm going to show you because I did buy a couple of things for me and my daughter. But. I got this puzzle. This is actually a Jackson Pollock painting called Convergence. And this is an older puzzle, as you can tell from the label here. There we go. From Springbok. 340 pieces. Um, I think everything's here. I might actually count the pieces if I get really adventurous. Um, I probably should. But they're in little Ziploc bags here. And then you also get this little poster of the painting and it says 1964 down here so I can't find any other date sorry guys can't find any other date on this so I have no idea when this was actually manufactured I'll try and do a little bit of research but I paid a buck I should be able to get at least I think 15 on that then for a dollar, this was the only toy that I picked up. This is a Munchkin Mozart Magic Cube. And you turn it on and you can press the buttons. And each button that you press, the instruments will play together. Like. So, you get the idea. I'm not going to make you suffer through the rest of that. <laughs> Anyway, or you can play the whole orchestra. These are fairly popular. I paid a dollar. I should be able to get about, I don't know, 12 out of it maybe, which is more than I can get at the consignment sale, which is coming up next week. So I think I'm probably going to try this on eBay first. If it doesn't go by the spring consignment sale, then I'll take it down and pop it in the sale. For a dollar, I got three products from... Um, L'Occitane en Provence, <laughs> as it's properly called. Um, and my kids always make fun of me whenever I say that because we have one of these stores in our mall. And I like their hand cream, so sometimes they'll say, you know, I need to go into L'Occitane en Provence. And my kids are like, <laughs> My son's like, you know, can you remove the stick from your butt? Because <laughs> it does sound very, very pretentious. But anyway, I uh, got this. I don't even know how to say that. Piv pivoine? I don't know. I don't speak French. Um, shower gel, beauty milk, I guess that's lotion, and this, what is this? Shower oil. Um, paid a dollar. Should get about ten out of that. Found another Wachtersbach mug. This is a blue mug, which they don't do a lot of blue, and I can't find this exact mug or this exact color on eBay, so I'm crossing my fingers hoping that's good. Um, it's in beautiful shape. I think it has one little flea bite chip. Yeah, right there. But that's no big deal. I should be able to get about 
25 with free shipping out of that. And that was 50 cents? Yeah, that was 50 cents. For a dollar, I got a Scrabble RSVP game. I've sold these before and I, you know, I recycle the game and I keep the cubes and these sell for about 12 with free shipping. No problem. And the good thing is it's already in my system so I can just bring it back up, pop in the picture I took of that and boom, it's listed. Um, got this Nina Ricci Lair du Temps gift set. It's got lotion, it's got bath and shower gel, and then this little mini perfume with the two birds on top. Unfortunately, this little bird is missing his tail, but that shouldn't be too big of a deal. I paid a dollar for it. I'm hoping to get maybe, I don't know, 15 to 20. We'll see what happens. Unfortunately, somebody spilled something all over this box. This box isn't supposed to look like that, I don't think. No. Um, then I got yet another advent calendar. Yes, I know, I have a problem. But I'd never seen this one before. This is the Muppets, the Gift of the Magi storybook set and advent calendar. And you open this up. And all these little ornaments are actually, they all have little pockets that they sit in, but they're actually little tiny storybooks with like, I don't know, like four pages a piece. So every day you can keep reading a part of the story until you get obviously to the 24th. So I thought that was really unique. Um, they are on eBay, only going for about, I guess, maybe 10 to 15, but you know, Christmas time is coming, so maybe this, this will go for a little more than that. In another month or so, we'll have to see. And I think that was everything from that sale. Like I said, it was pretty, pretty sad that I drove a half an hour just for that. But, like I said, you live and you learn. So then I went to the other one that was advertised as a big charity rummage sale for uh, a child who'd been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and had to drive another half an hour to get there. That one was a lot closer to my house, but um, you know, I always have good luck with church rummage sales, so that's why I went to the other one first. Looking back, I wish I'd gone to this one first, but you know, how do you know? I had never seen such a big yard sale. It made my husband's aunt's yard sale that we had after she passed look dinky, and that was a big one. Um, they actually had departments. They had linens, toys, clothing, books, um, housewares, arts and crafts. <laughs> Never seen anything like it. But their arts and crafts section was huge. Somebody has an inn at Michael's and somehow or another, they must have had 15 tables plus stuff all over the ground. It was insane. Um, and a lot of it was new recently retired stock from Michael's and I know this because I go into Michael's every week because I love it um, and as soon as I got there the lady gave me a grocery bag and she goes it's five dollars to fill the bag knock yourself out like, okay then so I did buy some stuff for myself which I'll have to come back and show all you crafty fans uh, my little haul from there uh, which was great for less than five dollars uh, but I'm going to show you right now the stuff that I bought there to sell. Like I said, everything average it out was maybe, I don't know, a quarter, 10 cents, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, for everything I'm about to show you, it cost me about five bucks. So I got this little stamp from Rubber Stampede. This is a Disney stamp called Mickey's Carolers. In really, really good shape. Hoping to get maybe eight to ten on that. Two sets of these cards. These are actually Christmas cards even though they have these really pretty seashells around the edge. They're from William Arthur and as you can see the retail price was $28.95 for ten cards. Holy cow. Um, but it says season's greetings happy new year inside the card and they're called gilded seashell frames. You peel and stick your photo to the front and there's your Christmas card. So two of these 
I'm um, hoping to get at least 10 a piece out of those. This, I don't know why it was sitting in the arts and crafts section, but it was. This is a Mikasa Holiday Magic, just a little trinket box with this little polar bear holding a present. I'm not going to take them out of the box, but there he is. Maybe get 8 to 10 out of him. I got two little... Whoops. Two little garden flags. Hello Kitty and a Hello Kitty is really popular. So these are two different holiday ones. Um, maybe get about 10 for both of them together. Then I got some speedball screen printing stuff. Drawing fluid and screen filler. I have no idea. I don't screen print. so. Um, but anyway, uh, I should be able to get about, I think around 15 out of that. Plus shipping. I got some Martha Stewart trim. This is metallic trim. Where'd the other one go? I'm missing one. Well, anyway, there's a gold and a silver of this one, which I'm selling together. Hoping to get about 10 for both of those together. And then I got a lot of these um, embossed metallic trim with all the leaves and the birds and stuff like that. This is um, a take on German, German scrap, which can sometimes go for really good money. Um, so I got four packs of that. <sighs> Hoping to get, I don't know, like maybe seven bucks a pop on these. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna sell them all together or sell them individually. I might sell them individually. Just say, you know, I have four of them and they're seven, eight bucks free shipping, so see what happens. Uh, two vintage, oh, there's the other one. Hello, there's the silver. Two vintage Jiffy Needlepoint kits. This one's brand new, which is open. This one's called Robin. There's another one called Robin, but it's a completely different image, and I can't find anyone like uh, this on eBay, so I'm hoping that's good. I get that, and then I got Leo the lion with his little toy wind-up mouse right here. So, see how they do? Maybe ten a piece on those. Then I got this one called Tiger Chillin' Out from Dimensions. This is a cross-stitch kit. This I should be able to get about fifteen free shipping on that. And then this one I got my fingers crossed about. This is from Paragon Needlecraft. This is a Walt Disney cross stitch. It's stamped on here, uh, as you can see right there. But Mickey and Minnie in the middle. There's Pluto down there, the dog house. Uh, what is that, like a mouse or something? And a bird. There's no date on it, but looking at the baby, it's got to be late 60s, early 70s. Um, can't find any others like this on eBay, so I'm hoping. I don't know, maybe 40 to 50 on this? I might start it at auction at 40 or 50 and see if I get any watchers. Because there's Bambi ones that have sold for at least 50. Um, so I don't know. Have to wait and see. And then last but not least, I bought a bunch of stencils. And I'm going to sell them in a lot. Because I know they'll sell well that way. Um, people love these stencils for mixed media, card making, scrapbooking, all the crafty people watching, you guys know. <laughs> um, and you guys know how expensive they can be individually. So, like I said, all of the stuff that I just showed you from that sale, I paid a total of five bucks for. So these maybe cost, I don't know, plus the stuff I bought for myself. So maybe this costs 10 cents each, which is nuts. So I got this one with tags, signs, this Martha Stewart one, which is, what is that called? It just says designs. This one that is, I don't know, these little banners and corners and stuff like that. This animal print, which is a big long one. This one called Retro Mod, which has four different designs. And then this one, which is Busy Bee. These are both 12 by 12s. So I'm selling all those in a lot together. Probably start that at 
20 and then I also had this one. This was mine, but I had two of them somehow, so I'm gonna throw that in. This is a crafter's workshop. This is a tulip flexible stencil pack, which is um, has repositionable adhesive on it with this Florida Lee. Another Martha Stewart. This one has little banners in it. This Americana one with the owl. Another tag, another sign. This one is called Aztec. And then another one of these Busy Bees. So, I shouldn't have a problem getting at least 20 a pop on those lots. So that's it for Saturday. Saturday was not nearly as productive as I thought it, it was going to be. I wish I'd gone to that other sale first, but what are you gonna do? It can't be everywhere at once, although I wish I could. So that's it this week. Uh, I know I have a rummage sale on Thursday. It's a Thursday afternoon rummage sale. I've been to it before. It's the one that my daughter always says smells like beans and feet. <laughs> I don't know what they cook in there, but the kitchen always cooks something and it just smells nasty. I don't know if it's some weird sauerkraut or what it is, but it's just not good. Um, so she doesn't go to that one with me anymore. <laughs> um, so I'll be going there Thursday and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of sales. Um, over the weekend also. So thanks for watching everyone. I gotta go. I gotta go check on my son. Make sure he takes his medicine because I had to take him to Metamerge during his work shift yesterday because he was having problems breathing and it turns out he had uh, bronchitis, tonsillitis, and strep throat all at once. So fantastic. Um, but thank God it wasn't anything worse and it hadn't turned into pneumonia yet. So he's on penicillin and I gotta go tell him to take his pills. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.